Hey guys, it's Sarah with americantrucks.com and today we have a review and install of the Proving Ground CNL Series Direct Fit Aggressive Muffler, fitting your 09 to 18 5.7 liter Ram 1500 with the factory dual exhaust. This is a perfect option for those of you who want some more sound out of your truck, but want to save some money over purchasing a full exhaust system. This muffler replacement utilizes a lot of your factory exhaust so you can keep some of that money in your pocket. This direct fit muffler replacement features stainless steel construction and a straight through design and also includes all the clamps necessary making for a completely bolt up install. This muffler replacement features the aggressive muffler, which is the loudest one in the CNL series. It delivers that deep, rich sound that you're looking for without being too overpowering. So speaking of sound, I'm giving this a four out of five on the loudness meter. Because we're replacing that large factory muffler, you do get a ton more sound out of your truck. But because this is not quite a straight pipe section, you don't have to compromise when it comes to your daily driver. Now getting into price, this option comes in at around $300, making it one of the most budget friendly ways to get some more sound out of your truck. And as far as the install goes, I'm giving this one a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It does feature a direct clamp on installation with no modification required and can be done within one hour. So with that said, let's jump into the install. For this install, we used some PB Blaster. You can use any spray lubricant. We also used a pry bar. You'll need an impact gun or a ratchet will work just fine. You'll need 15 and 13 millimeter sockets. You may also want an exhaust hanger removal tool and a rubber mallet. All right, so the first step in our uninstall, what we're going to do is remove these over axle pipes from the muffler so we can remove the muffler. Let's grab a 15 millimeter socket and get the clamps loosened. So we're gonna start with the clamp on the pipe towards the top. We're right at the back of the large muffler. Go ahead and grab your 15 millimeter socket and get this loosened up. Now next up for this clamp that's right next to it is a little bit harder to get on, so we're gonna use a ratchet for this one. Now at this point, we're gonna remove the hangers out of our rubber isolator for our muffler section. Now we did use a little bit of PB Blaster on this just to help them come out properly. And now what we're gonna do is wiggle this piece of pipe to remove it from the muffler and remove it off of our truck. Next up, to release our other pipe, what we're gonna do is first release it from the back of the muffler to make our job a little bit easier. Now you can do this by hand, but if you need, you can also use a rubber mallet and lightly tap the top of the exhaust pipe here to release it. Now once we've loosened up that pipe from the muffler section, what we're gonna do is remove these hangers there are two on this side, and we do have a little bit of PB Blaster in this one just to help speed up the process. So once that is released, let's move on to the other one. Now we're gonna remove the backmost clamp. This one is in a similar position as the other side. And again, we did lube this up a little bit to help work itself out. Now once that is out, we can wiggle the pipe out the rest of the way and remove it off the truck. Next up, we're gonna remove the clamp at the front of our large muffler section. Grab yourself a 15 millimeter socket and get this removed. Once the clamp is loosened, we can start to remove the muffler. Now we can move on to the back of the muffler section and release both of the hangers. Again, we have this lubed up a little bit just to help us out. And we're using our exhaust hanger removal tool, which makes it a lot easier if you can get your hands on one. Now let's be careful because this muffler is kind of heavy as we release it from both of these hangers. Moving on to the next hanger. 
one is a little bit harder to see, but go ahead and repeat that process. And again, just keep in mind, this muffler section is on the heavier side, so be prepared when it does release. All right, now we can slide the muffler section off. Again, this is pretty heavy, so you may want a second set of hands or a pole jack to help you support it. Now, if you're having trouble releasing it, you can use a pry bar towards the front of the frame to help wiggle it off. All right, now that we have our factory muffler uninstalled from our truck, we can check it out side by side with our new muffler replacement here. Now, as you can see, this muffler is a ton smaller than the large one of your factory. This is the CNL Series Aggressive Muffler, and it's gonna get you the most sound out of your truck, that deep tone that you're looking for. This is a direct fit replacement, so it'll bolt right up, and it features stainless steel construction, so it's gonna hold up for years to come. So, with that said, let's finish up the install. All right, so before we slide our muffler section over top of our factory exhaust, we're gonna slide our clamp in place. And then go ahead and slide it over that factory exhaust section. At this point, line up your exhaust hangers with the rubber isolators on your truck. Now you will have to slightly turn this muffler. It is offset. And go ahead and slide the smaller clamps over the ends of your pipes. At this point, we can start to line up the over axle pipes, the rest of our exhaust. Now what we have to do here is line them up with the pipe as well as the hanger simultaneously. Once you have it lined up in the hanger, go ahead and slide it into place in your muffler section. All right, now we want to repeat that process on the other side. What we're going to do is line up our pipe with the muffler section. And simultaneously, we're also lining up our exhaust hanger. And once you have it lined up, you can install the second hanger. Now this one may be a little bit harder to see. All right, at this point, we can line everything up and get it tightened down. Now what we're doing here is lining up the opening in the clamp in between these two slots. This will get the best grip on the factory exhaust. So go ahead and line it up. And with your 15 millimeter socket, tighten it down. And we can go to the back of the muffler section and tighten down our clamps at the back. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing up on this one side. This is your passenger side pipe and it does tend to fall over on itself and hit your driver's side pipe. Just make sure that's not happening. Go ahead and line up your clamp and with your 15 millimeter socket, tighten it down. All right, so one thing I did want to point out now that our exhaust is installed, if for some reason your tips are not sitting exactly where you want them, you can adjust them at this clamp back here with a 13 millimeter socket. But that is gonna do it for the review and install of this muffler replacement. And remember for all things Ram, keep it at americantrucks.com.